A review copy was provided by Evolve PR. Hello everyone, Adam here, and today I'll be discussing The Search 2, developed by Deck 13 and published by Focus Home Interactive. As always, this will be a short impression of the game, but you can read my full written review on Noobfeed. A link will be provided in the description below. The Search 2 is a great action-adventure science fiction title. It doesn't push the franchise to new heights, but it takes a lot of the core concepts established by the first game and runs with it. Taking place two months after the first game in the pristine city of Jericho, you take control of a nameless custom character. After waking up from your coma, you quickly learn that the city has been quarantined due to an outbreak called Defrag. Everyone inside must fight for survival as supplies are limited. The story slowly gains momentum as you uncover hidden mysteries that led to the quarantine, including military secrets and how you're connected to everything. Many of the characters are pretty forgettable, especially the custom character, but they serve their purpose to propel the narrative forward. The city of Jericho is definitely a step up from the Creo facility of the first game. Whereas Warren's adventure was mostly a linear experience, here you can explore a semi-open world. Each area has a different location that you can explore. Navigating the environment is pretty annoying since you have no access to a map and no waypoints to point you in the right direction. You do eventually get a sense of where everything is thanks to a great map layout, and there are plenty of shortcuts to uncover, but due to the complicated nature of all these shortcuts, you can get lost pretty easily unless you have great observation skills. Where the Search 2 shines is in its gameplay. Combat mostly has remained the same, with the player targeting specific body parts and cutting them off when enough damage is dealt. However, now added is a parry system that is a bit hard to get used to and collecting upgrades by slicing specific parts. Most of the equipment you'll earn in the game comes from cutting off limbs from enemies and taking their equipment. For example, if you want an enemy's arm armor or arm upgrade, you'll target the arm. This makes getting specific items much easier. Speaking of easy, the Surge 2 is anything but easy. You still have to watch your stamina meter which determines your mobility and attack limitations, and of course your energy meter. People who play the Surge 1 will remember the energy meter allows you to perform finishing moves to slice specific limbs and activate injectors which range from health recovery, boost in defense, and other enhancements. These are stored in batteries that decrease over time and require you to keep attacking to charge the energy meter. This promotes aggressive playstyles, and since damage taken is often fatal, you need to constantly be aware of the enemy's animations to ensure you're not left defenseless when in combat. If killed, you can return to your location in order to recover lost tech scrap. Tech scrap is the currency used to level your character, upgrade your equipment, and purchase new items. And you're going to need all the best items you can possibly get your hands on as the boss enemies in the Search 2 are incredibly intense. While you can use whatever armor and weapon you want, each having specific strengths and weaknesses, some bosses have specific weaknesses to certain elements, and some weapons perform better than others in certain situations. Fortunately, you have an opportunity to equip whatever you want at any time, so you're not locked out of anything during combat. This is a Souls-like game, so you can expect to die a lot. At times, this can become incredibly infuriating since you're handicapped by the stamina meter, whereas enemy NPCs can attack without pause. But eventually, you adapt to the mechanics and learn to attack when opponents appear. As someone personally who hates the stamina meter, I was able to overlook this thanks to the strong gameplay and challenging boss fights. Eventually, I improved and later enemies wouldn't, weren't as challenging. Not because of my equipment, but because I got better at the game. Once you do complete the 68 hour adventure depending on your skill level, you can replay the game on New Game Plus. Not only can you replay the adventure with all your existing equipment and level upgrades, but it also increases the difficulty, making enemies more resistant to damage and changes the position of certain other enemies. There's also an additional cutscene that reveals some critical information, but mostly I thought this scene should have been added into the core campaign, but I guess it gives incentive to start New Game Plus as it does tell you that some new information will be provided by playing the mode. 
Overall, I was happy with the Surge 2. It wasn't a huge improvement from the first game, but the new semi-open world, great boss battles, and challenging gameplay kept me hooked. I did wish that there was a portable map, and the missions were given waypoints so I could easily track them and locate where they are on the overall environment. But that sense of accomplishment when overcoming such a difficult challenge is still here, especially after defeating an incredible boss fight. So the Surge 2 delivers on that same sense of wonder and excitement. Plus, and this is just a minor side note, seeing that the Surge 2 relies heavily on resource gathering and no microtransactions have been put into the game or time savers as publishers call it, is something worth addressing. Thank you for not doing that because that would have been incredibly dreadful and would have ruined the sense of accomplishment that you get from gathering materials, eventually overcoming a boss, and earning all that sense of reward and accomplishments that comes from defeating something intensely difficult. Anyway, that's what I liked about The Surge and what I didn't like. Tell me your opinions in the comments below. Also check out the full written review. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Stay awesome everyone.